Thank you very much. You may be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We are very privileged and honored to have all of you here with us tonight. The business leaders representing all sectors and all industries, as well as large conglomerates, small and medium industries, and startups for our business forum this evening. Welcome. Tonight is about all of you, the business community, getting to know the presidential candidate, the Honorable Sajid Premadasa, and his vision more intimately. We'd like to start off by playing a short video showcasing the fundamental building blocks and accomplishments made in economic development by the United National Party since 1977. The video will also give us a glimpse into the great vision of our future for our beloved Sri Lanka. Before we venture into what the future holds for the business sector in Sri Lanka, it is of utmost importance to understand the accomplishments that have been made in economic development for us to arrive at this moment in time. After all, the path ahead may seem murky if you have not fully grasped the path trodden. Since 1977, foundations have been led to create the right infrastructure to take Sri Lanka forward. The accelerated Mahavali Ganga development was key to providing more electricity to the nation and also aiding agricultural development in the country. With investment promotions for the free trade zone, employment opportunities were created and brought in substantial returns in foreign exchange earnings. Overseas employment opportunities were then created in a range of sectors to bring in more foreign exchange to the country. Accelerated Apparel Industries has now turned into one of Sri Lanka's best foreign exchange earning sectors as well as creating employment opportunities right across Sri Lanka. The development of the port to handle containerized cargo has seen our export earnings multiply over the course of the years with the increased efficiency it brought to the port. The introduction of the Employee Trust Fund was an iconic moment for the entire country, increasing retirement security and benefits provided to all employees. The installation of the Securities Commission and the share market created a healthy competition amongst all sectors while making a massive impact on the development of the private enterprise. Privatization of the telecom was a strategical move to develop the industry via healthy competition. This resulted in efficient communications resulting in enhanced business as well as efficient services to customers while garnering a new segment of employees. The introduction of a private banking system in the open economy has triggered new policies, new opportunities and some of the best competition globally. The development of the tourist industry by introducing star-class hotels has provided employment to people from all walks of life in Sri Lanka and has become one of our biggest foreign exchange earners while putting us on the map as the world's number one destination in 2019. The development of agro-based industries with the use of Mahavali waters has increased employment as well. The privatization of non-profit making industries has seen these industries get re-established while generating opportunities for lost employment. The establishment of Air Lanka created the foundations for networking, foreign exchange earnings and employment. And in the recent past, we have seen amazing leaps in a lot of other fronts. We have seen true democracy shine and the rule of law become impenetrable. 
in economy and trade, we've seen a positive change in momentum with the first trade agreement in decades signed by Sri Lanka with Singapore FTA. The implementation of a simplified taxation through the Inland Revenue Act has enabled more secure structure for Sri Lankan citizens. Unemployment has been reduced substantially across the country with poverty levels reduced island-wide. Entrepreneurship has blossomed in the last four years via creating a healthy lending structure that allows for the expansion of burgeoning talent in Sri Lanka. Not only has the economic health of this country been addressed, we have made great strides in uplifting the status of healthcare available to our citizens. We recognize that the long-term future of our nation lays in the hands of the generations after us. With that in mind, we've ensured to put systems in place that grant more higher education opportunities to underserved communities. These are but a few of the strides we've taken in our time of governance to strengthen our existing infrastructure for the path to a better future. A future where meritocracy will be the name of the game, the right person for the right job. A future where the private sector will play a vital role in the formulation of sound economic policies. A future in which the barriers to trade are relaxed to enable a blossoming economy to truly flourish. A future in which justice is not held hostage by politicians. A future where we begin to give the right support and guidance to the young minds of the nation from the very start. And with professionals at the helm under a new leadership, we can move forward together to create a new Sri Lanka. A Sri Lanka where we prioritize paving the right foundations so that what we create today will become a monumental tomorrow. Equa Idiriata.